Have you ever heard of Atlantis? It is a lost city that has captivated the minds of scholars and adventurers alike for centuries. Atlantis was first mentioned by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, in his dialogues, Timaeus and Critias. He described it as a powerful and advanced civilization that vanished beneath the sea, in a single day and night of catastrophic earthquakes and floods. Legend has it that Atlantis was home to a remarkable substance known as the Philosopher's Stone, which was believed to hold the key to immortality. This legendary stone was said to have the power to transmute base metals into gold, as well as to cure any disease and grant eternal youth and life. But what is the Philosopher's Stone, and does it really exist? Well, many alchemists throughout history have searched for it, hoping to uncover its secrets. It was also inspiration for the first Harry Potter book where it was depicted as a powerful magical object that could grant its possessor eternal life. The Emerald Tablet which was an ancient artifact, believed to contain the secrets of the universe and the key to unlocking the Philosopher's Stone. The tablet is said to have been created by the legendary figure, Hermes Trismegistus, who was known as the father of alchemy. The Emerald Tablet is inscribed with a series of enigmatic phrases, written in cryptic symbols that have puzzled scholars for centuries. One of the most famous lines from the tablet is, as above, so below, which has been interpreted to mean that the microcosm reflects the macrocosm, and that the universe is a mirror of the human soul. But what is the connection between the emerald tablet and the philosopher's stone? Well, some scholars believe that the tablet contains a recipe for creating the stone, while others think that it holds the key to understanding the nature of reality itself. Throughout history, many great minds have sought to unlock the secrets of the Emerald Tablet and the Philosopher's Stone. One of the most famous alchemists was the Swiss physician and philosopher Paracelsus, who lived in the 16th century. Paracelsus believed that the Philosopher's Stone was not a physical substance, but rather a metaphor for spiritual transformation. He believed that the quest for the stone was really a quest for self-discovery and enlightenment. Another famous alchemist was the Englishman, Isaac Newton, who was better known for his contributions to science and mathematics. However, he also had a deep interest in alchemy and spent many years studying the Emerald Tablet and the Philosopher's Stone. He believed that the universe was made up of both physical and spiritual elements and that the Philosopher's Stone held the key to unlocking the secrets of both. The idea of immortality has been a recurring theme in mythology and religion throughout history. From the Greek gods to the Egyptian pharaohs, many ancient cultures believed in the existence of an elixir or a magical substance that could grant eternal life. In ancient Greek mythology, the gods were believed to be immortal and lived on Mount Olympus. The Greek hero, Achilles, was said to have been dipped in the river Styx by his mother, Thetis, to make him invulnerable, except for his heel, which was not touched by the water. This is where the term Achilles' heel comes from. The ancient Egyptians also believed in the concept of immortality. They believed that after death, the soul would journey through the underworld and face judgment by the god Osiris. If the soul passed the test, it would be granted eternal life in the afterlife. So what do all these stories and beliefs tell us about the search for immortality and the philosopher's stone? Well, they show us that the desire for immortality and the pursuit of knowledge and understanding are deeply rooted in human nature. They also remind us of the enduring power of myth and legend to shape our perception of the world. However, as science and medicine advanced, the pursuit of immortality became less of a mystical quest and more of a scientific one. Today, many scientists are studying the aging process and are searching for ways to extend human life through genetics, nutrition, and medicine. But even with all the advancements in science and medicine, the quest for immortality remains elusive. Some argue that the pursuit of immortality is a fool's errand, and that the finite nature of life is what gives it meaning and purpose. Living 